Hello everyone, my name is Mr Stewart and it is with great pride that as Head of School here at Hermitage Academy I get the privilege of being able to welcome both new students and their parents to the next transition video in our series. The school in sixth form became part of a family of schools within the North East Learning Trust last September. That is when I began my time at the school too. As your new head teacher, it would be remiss of me if I didn't tell you more about what to expect when you arrive with us, so that will be the focus of this video. Although I must say at this point that since last September, Hermitage Academy has changed and moved forwards quickly, especially in terms of our ethos, standards and expectations. First and foremost, we want students to experience excellence every day, both academically and pastorally. The Trust, our governors, staff and I are completely committed to ensuring students experience an environment that allows them to feel safe, happy and ultimately thrive and flourish so when they leave us, they do so with the best possible outcomes, whether that be at GCSE or A-level. Such excellent outcomes will enable students to go and compete on a local, national and international level. Our standards and expectations are high and we understand that your children are our future. The curriculum we offer students is broad and diverse. We want students to access a range of interesting and challenging subjects and we are committed that our students access a curriculum that enables them all to be successful. I firmly believe that a carefully planned and structured curriculum is the foundation upon which excellent learning and development is built. As I mentioned earlier, our expectations and standards are high. I make no apologies for this. We want students to come to school and feel safe, be happy, enjoy learning and develop in both character and personality. Like you, we want the very best for all children. As a school community, we all have a responsibility to look after one another. Our ethos is built on being kind, respectful and safe. With this in mind, we remind our students constantly of our four key expectations to create a positive climate and atmosphere for learning. We expect everyone to be respectful at all times to each other, to take responsibility for their own individual actions, to stay safe and behave safely at all times, being considerate of those around, and always be ready and prepared to learn. These are our basic, reasonable expectations. I am positive that our new Year 7 students will rise to the challenge and demonstrate themselves as important role models in our school and local communities. Parental communication and engagement is an intrinsic part of any successful school. Support from you really does make a difference. A school is a busy place. However, if you contact us, we will do everything we can to get back to you as soon as is reasonably possible. Constant communication between parents and school is the starting point for a strong foundation for your child to experience and achieve success with us. In closing, our students, your children, are our greatest assets. And because of this, every decision that we make will be in the best interests of them. At this point, I want to finish by asking our future Year 7 students a question that I will pick up on when we meet in September. What legacy do you want to leave behind when you leave Hermitage Academy after five or hopefully seven years with us? I'm really looking forward to meeting you all and the governors, staff and other students are all very excited to welcome you all to our school community. Thank you very much, stay safe and take care. Hi Year 6, Mrs Dixon here, I'm Head of Science at The Hermitage, really looking forward to meeting you all in September. My quiz question is, how many bones are in a giraffe's neck? 7, 17, 27 or 37? Hello Year 7, my name is Mr Hardy, I'm the Head of PE at Hermitage Academy. My question for you is, who has been teaching the nation PE for the past 12 weeks? And as a bonus question, what type of fitness has he been doing?